The compression cam kit, part number 7001943, will contain four new metal cams, four new set screws, a 332nd hex key, a small plastic tube of blue Loctite. Tools that you will require to complete this job would be a Phillips screwdriver, slotted screwdriver, and some high temperature food grade grease. Turn the power switch off and unplug the toaster from the power supply. Put on safety gloves and attempt to service the unit in its current existing area if possible. Otherwise, you need to relocate the unit to an alternate service work area. Remove the top cover. Next, remove the side electrical service panel by loosening up the bottom three screws and completely removing the other perimeter screws. Take a slotted screwdriver and rotate the screw clockwise to unlatch the door. Completely remove the door from the hinge. Release tension on the two top belts by pushing the front idler roller in at both ends and then up. This releases tension. Unlatch the top lock by lifting the mechanism up slightly and use your thumbs to pull the latch away and lift it completely as shown. Remove the belts by sliding out sideways in a rotating fashion. With both belts removed, locate the four screws on the top access panel and remove with a slotted screwdriver. Be careful not to lose the screws. With the top access panel removed, you can locate the four compression cams. One, two, three, four. Rotate their knobs until the set screw is fully visible on all four cams. Set screws are visible. Set screws are visible. Working first with the shorter shaft, take the 332nd hex key and completely loosen the set screw until the top of the set screw is slightly protruding from the cam. Note, if the existing cams in place are damaged and you cannot remove the set screw, you may need to pry them off if they are brittle. With the compression cam set screws loosened, slide out the short shaft completely. Also, remove any remaining cams or residue and clean the surrounding area of any loose residue. Take a black sharpie, draw a line on both sides of the shaft dimples. This would help with realignment with the set screw. Take a new cam and observe the triangle that is etched on one side as shown here. The opposite side does not exhibit a triangle. All four cams must be installed facing the right hand side as you're facing the front of the toaster. So the triangle here would go one, two, three, four. Failure to properly install these cams in their correct orientation will result in improper bun compression operation. Position the cam with the triangle again towards the right side and the set screw hole facing up. Push the mechanism down slightly then insert the shaft. Take the second cam with the triangle facing the right side and the set screw hole facing up and guide the shaft into the hole, you may need to compress the mechanism down. Rotate the shaft until the black sharpie line is visible and lines up with the cam set screw hole. 
Also observe the shaft dimple and try to realign them as best as possible to facilitate the set screw engaging thoroughly. Install a set screw on your Allen key and apply a drop of blue Loctite. Then carefully thread set screw into the cam. Ensure that it is engaging the shaft dimple. If the shaft rotated, rotate it to realign it. Use the black sharpie lines for reference. Take the second set screw on a, an Allen key and apply a small drop of Loctite and carefully thread it into the cam. Apply some high temperature food grade grease on the outside of the cams to help lubricate them. Rotate the compression knob to complete the process and test the operation of the mechanism. Now we're going to start working with the longer shaft side. Take the 332nd Allen key and completely loosen up the set screws until they are completely visible towards the top and protrude slightly. Note, if your cams are damaged or brittle or broken and the set screw does not remove, you may need to just pry it off. With the set screws completely loosened, slide out the long shaft and completely extract both cams. Be sure to clean and wipe off any loose residue in this surrounding area. Take a black sharpie and draw a long line across each dimple. This would help with realignment of the set screw. Position the new cam with the triangle facing the right hand side of the machine as you're facing the front of the toaster. Position the cam with the set screw hole facing up and insert the shaft. Take the second new cam with the triangle facing the right hand side and the set screw hole pointing up as you're facing the front of the toaster and guide the shaft into it. With the cam set screw holes facing up, rotate the shaft until you see the black sharpie lines. Make sure they line up in the center with the camshaft holes. Place the new set screw into the Allen key and apply a small drop of blue Loctite. Then carefully thread the set screw into the cam, making sure you maintain the shaft alignment with the black Sharpie, and tighten very snugly until it completely bottoms out into the shaft. The second set screw and apply a small drop of Loctite and completely insert it carefully into the cam. Apply some high temperature food grade grease onto both cams around their entire perimeter. Rotate the compression knob to help lubricate the mechanism and ensure that it's fully functional. Reinstall the top service panel and secure with the four screws. Be careful not to drop them. With the top cover installed and secured with the four screws, reconfirm that the front idler shaft is pushed in and up 
to collapse it and allow for reinstallation of the belts. Reinstall the belt one at a time. Confirm that both belts are properly installed in their respective grooves. Then push down on the roller shaft to apply tension. Reconfirm they are correctly aligned. Re-engage the top lock lever by lifting the mechanism up slightly and pushing the lever towards it so that it completely hooks and engages it. Once engaged, reconfirm that it is still secured in place. Reinstall the side hinge door by engaging it over the hinge correctly. Close it, then rotate the lock towards the lock position. Install the side electrical service panel and secure with all the screws. Reinstall the top cover. Plug the power cord into the outlet, turn the power on, allow to preheat for at least 20 minutes. With the unit at operating temperature, set both compression knobs at both ends to number four as a starting point. Test buns. If the buns are toasted per customer satisfaction, you can leave it at number four. If you need to apply more compression, rotate the knob to number three or to apply less compression, rotate to number five. 